Hi students, welcome to Darshana YouTube channel. So in this small session we are discussing a question with regard to our chemical kinetics. So we can move to that question. So in this question, consider the following reversible reaction. The reversible reaction is A plus B give AB. The activation energy for forward reaction exceeds that of backward reaction or activation energy for backward reaction exceeds that of forward reaction by 2 RT. The pre-exponential factor of forward reaction is 4 times that of reverse reaction. The absolute value of delta G0 for the reaction at 300 Kelvin. It is given that natural logarithm of 2 is given then a value of RT is given at 300 Kelvin. So we need to find out the delta G0 value. So actually this question is not only really based on chemical kinetics but also thermodynamics as well as chemical equilibrium. So the relationship between delta G0 is obtained from our thermodynamics. So here it is given that the activation energy for backward reaction is exceeds that of forward reaction by 2 RT. Similarly, the pre-exponential factor, what is mean by pre-exponential factor? Adenius constant. Adenius constant of forward reaction is 4 times that of backward reaction. These are the two points given in this question. From this, we need to find out the delta G0 value. Once more, it is given that activation energy of a backward reaction is exceeds that of forward reaction by 2 RT. And Adenius constant for forward reaction is 4 times that of Adenius constant for backward reaction. So based on this, we are finding delta G0 value. So we know that, so we know that delta G, is, delta G is equal to delta G0 plus RT ln QC. From thermodynamics, we get this equation. Delta G, free energy change. Delta G0, standard free energy change. QC represent reaction quotient or concentration quotient. At equilibrium, we can say that delta G is equal to 0 as well as the concentration quotient become equal to equilibrium constant. Therefore, this equation can be rewrite as delta G0 is equal to minus RT ln KC because at equilibrium QC become KC. Delta G become 0. Therefore, delta G0 is equal to minus RT ln QC. Again, this KC is according to our equilibrium, we know that equilibrium constant is the ratio of rate constant of forward reaction to that of backward reaction. According to Adenius equation, Rate constant means it is Adenius constant into E raised to minus Ea divided by RT. According to our Adenius equation, we can say that rate constant K is equal to A into E raised to minus Ea, activation energy divided by RT. Just to substitute the value, AF represent Adenius constant or pre-exponential factor for forward reaction. AF into E raised to minus EAF divided by RT. And again, KB, rate constant of backward reaction, Adenius constant of backward reaction into E raised to minus EAB divided by RT. Again, we know that EAB, activation energy of backward reaction, exceed that of forward reaction by 2 RT. Therefore, this EAB can be represented as EAF plus 2 RT. Again, activation Adenius constant for forward reaction is 4 times Adenius constant for backward reaction. Therefore, this equation can be rewrite as Kc is equal to 4 into Adenius constant of backward reaction into E raised to minus Eaf divided by RT. All divided by Adenius constant of backward reaction into E raised to Eab is represented as Eaf plus 2 RT. Am I right? Again. Therefore, on simplification, we can say that Kc is equal to 4 into E raised to minus Eaf divided by RT into E raised to EAF plus 2 RT, all divided by RT. On simplification, we can say that KC is equal to 4 into E raised to minus EAF plus EAF plus 2 RT, all divided by RT. This minus EAF and plus EAF cancel each other. RT and RT cancel each other. The remaining is KC is equal to 4 into E raised to 2. So the next step can be expressed as KC is equal to 4 into E raised to 2. Or again on simplification, on taking natural logarithm on both side, ln kc is equal to ln 4 into e square or ln 4 into e square means ln 4 plus ln e square. Again we know that natural logarithm of e raised to x means which is equal to x. Therefore natural logarithm of e raised to 2 means which is equal to 2. Therefore 
we can say that ln kc is equal to ln kc is equal to ln 4 plus ln e square or ln 4 is represented as 2 ln 2 into ln e square means it is 2 itself. Therefore, ln kc is equal to 2 into ln 2. Just substitute the value of natural logarithm which is equal to 0.7 plus 2. Because ln e raised to 2 means it is 2. Again, or ln kc is equal to, just simplify it, ln kc is equal to 3.4. And then next we substitute the value of ln kc in the equation of delta g0. So we know that delta g0 is equal to minus rt ln kc. Just substitute in this equation. The value of kc, which is equal to delta g0 is equal to minus rt into 3.4. The value of rt from our question is 2500. Just substitute the value minus 2500 into 3.4 or delta g0 is equal to minus 8500. So, this question, we use the formula delta G is equal to delta G0 plus RT ln QC, which is obtained from our thermodynamics. After that, KC means it is the ratio of rate constant of forward reaction to that of backward reaction, which is obtained from our chemical equilibrium. Based on that, and again we substitute the value of rate constant, Arrhenius constant, equation, A into E raised to minus Ea by RT, which is obtained from our chemical kinetics. And we get the value of delta G0. Okay, I think students, so you are okay with this question. Okay, thank you. So, for more videos, please subscribe Darshna's YouTube channel. Okay, see you in our next video.